Hi everyone and welcome for this how to paint uh, quickly the Lannister uh, Alberges uh, for uh, a Songs of Ice and Fire. So for this tutorial I'm going to show you how to paint in a quick tabletop um, these miniatures because it's something like 50 minutes to play the game. So I will show you how to paint it um, quickly but in pretty good quality of paint. So let's go for the paint. <laughs> To beginning, I, I put some blue tack uh, on uh, a box and I'm going to prime everything in black. After that, I will come back um, with some airbrush and some white. I use um, an um, Infinity uh, Evolution airbrush and I push my white all uh, on all the miniatures and I focus uh, to the part who will be the more white at the end. So I'm going to create a non-metallic metal effect. Uh, so I'm going to push more white on uh, the weapon, for example. So don't hesitate uh, to focus on the part you want uh, that people see with your white and after you are going to see that I'm going to uh, put um, some ink uh, into the minis so it's going to go directly in the recesses and make my first shadow on all the miniatures. Uh, so I use some dark tone but you can uh, use some strong tone uh, and I'm going to put this on all the minis. Um, if you want, you can make it on every uh, minis uh, just uh, just by remove it from the box. But for this step, I prefer to make it directly on all the mini. After these steps, I'm going to paint uh, not one by one, but two or three by three the different miniatures. So. That gives me the possibility to wait uh, between two steps. Uh, that the um, preview steps will be uh, totally dry on the previous mini. As you can see, I start by putting uh, some um, uh, red brown uh, on every uh, part who will be uh, red at the hand. And uh, after that, I'm going to put the same color on the um, leather uh, part. I come back with some uh, white. I use the white I use on the, into the, the airbrush, so the pro color white. And I push my um, white on every um, part who will um, take uh, the light. For example, I push some line, as you can see, uh, on the weapon and uh, on the different kind of surfaces i'm going to push this white to create a very very strong uh, contrast on the different piece don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel to push uh, to like uh, the tutorial and to follow to your friend it's always cool to have some comments by the way if you have any question uh, just put this your question into the comments uh, zone and i will try to ask to answer very uh, very quickly as you can see the non-metallic metal is a pretty uh, easy uh, method to uh, make sure that your opponent is going to focus their eyes on the parts you want. So some people can think it's a little bit more complicated than, than true metal painting, but finally it's pretty more easy because you don't need to paint everything, just some few parts, the one who are going to be uh, very, very, um, very... On, on the light, I mean. So now I come back with some black just to push once again my contrast. Um, and uh, I try uh, with a very diluted uh, black to create um, in the same way my transition and um, with a very uh, low dilution uh, some distinction between the different parts.
after this step I'm going to come back with some Prince August red uh, Garance red and uh, you can by the way use the dragon red from uh, army painter this is the same kind of color and with this color I'm going to put on every part I want to be uh, in red at the end uh, you can see that I'm not going to uh, push this color on the leather um, because the treatment will be totally different and uh, I'm going to use a lot of ink into the leather uh, on the red I'm just going to put this red after this I'm going to use some pure red and after this I'm going to use orange and orange with uh, ivory so it's something like four step to have a perfectly clean uh, red I come back uh, with some dark tone uh, on the um, on the feet uh, and uh, I'm not sure it's feet or foot or oh, just tell me in into the comments <laughs> for the next one and I push uh, my ink uh, to have um, more contrasts into um, into my leather and I'm going to make the same uh, on the on the parts uh, you you as you can see To have a good uh, visibility on the on the minis, I'm going to add a little bit more dark tone, uh, just all around uh, the the red part, uh, just to have a clear dis distinction between the red parts and the other part just around, uh, who will be uh, in uh, yellow at the end. I push a second. Uh, um, a second uh, wash of ink on the lower part and all the leather part. I come back after that with some flat earth on the base and I'm going to use this flat earth as first uh, highlights on the leather just by adding a little bit uh, ivory but that will be uh, the next step. Just before that I'm going to push a little bit more um, black just around the, the base uh, just to, to have a very uh, more clean base with um, uh, a good uh, finish now i'm going to start with some pure red uh, from army painter to push my highlight on the red part the red part is pretty important because it's going uh, to be my second um, most important element on the minis the first one is a non-metallic metal because it's the most present color i have on the mini and with the red uh, I'm, not go I'm not going to deal you a lot the pure red i'm just going to put it and uh, you are going to see this is not a very covering color so it's really really more easy to create your transition but um, I really uh, try to put uh, in the first way uh, the red on the parts I want this red uh, the most powerful uh, so for example you can see I put on, on one way and after I put to this point of light uh, in a second time once again my my english is not perfectly clear sometimes so don't hesitate to ask into the comments and don't hesitate by the way to like the um, the um, the video and to subscribe to my channel uh, if you want uh, to have more and more uh, tutorial so i come back with some orange just to push a little bit more um, light on my red as you can see, I'm going to um, reach a very smaller and smaller surfaces every time I come back. So it's going to create my transition and um, it's going to take me less and less time um, on the different step. After that step, I'm going to add a little bit more ivory into my uh, orange to make uh, my second uh, highlight on the red. In something like four different steps, I have a very uh, nice uh, red and my mini will be very uh, finished, will be finished very, very soon.
more I progress and um, more I'm going to take care about my previous step um, in order to uh, preserve my previous step. It's pretty important because a lot of time we uh, we move and we don't take care about the previous step and uh, we reach uh, too much large uh, surfaces. So we lose a part of, uh, of our work on the Mini. Uh, when you want to make a very efficient uh, paint, you need to focus to never reach uh, um, um, a larger uh, surfaces when you uh, when you walk when you paint. I come back just to clean a little bit more with my uh, ivory, uh, my to have a better light. So you can make that every time you want, every time you you need it. Uh, I come back on the yellow parts with some desert yellow from Army Painter. This is a really good paint when you want to push some yellow because it's a little bit more um, uh, um, more dark, but it's going to be a perfect base to push some um, golden yellow, uh, yellow very more clearly more strong, uh, but in first. Uh, step it's perfect to have a great yellow base don't hesitate to make it in different uh, steps if you are not very easy uh, make it in two or three time um, that can be a very good uh, way to uh, evolve your skills in paint so I come back with a mix between a little bit ivory and uh, and uh, brown uh, earth just to push my highlights on the different part of um, of leather and now I come back uh, with uh, with some uh, yellow uh, to push more uh, contrast into my all, all the different yellow parts it's going to be uh, the last step uh, to finish the miniatures. I'm going to base everything after that and making some snow on the base. Uh, so I really hope uh, you enjoy this tutorial. Don't hesitate to ask any question you have. And I will be uh, come back very soon uh, with a new tutorial, this time probably on claustrophobia, uh, but perhaps on some hidden miniatures or anything else don't know uh, for the moment but uh, don't hesitate to follow me on facebook instagram and uh, subscribe on my youtube channel and um, the most important is to find the time to paint uh, that's the most important see you